I gave birth to my son here. I brought my daughter to the ER when my brother slammed her finger in the car door. And this is where I had emergency surgery when my gallbladder and appendix decided to give out. I feel indebted to the people that work here at Valley Hospital. Having reported numerous times about the medical supply shortage, I posted a list of items needed to protect medical staff on my local town's mom page on Facebook. Adriana and Janine had extra shoe covers. Edie is sewing masks at home. I love that watermelon print. And Jim, partner at Lynch Law Firm, paid for hundreds of M95 masks that he bought from Invictus Pharmacy. It looks to me that if everybody kicks in a little bit, everyone becomes a little optimistic, everyone does what they can on their end to help, then I think uh, things are gonna get better uh, quickly and we're all gonna get through this together. And when Dr. Murphy, superintendent of the Ramsey School District put out a call, his people came through with a trunk full of supplies. Now this certainly doesn't solve the problem. More medical supplies are needed now more than ever. But I do hope that these donations serve as a reminder to our frontline warriors here at Valley that we care about protecting their lives as much as they care about saving ours. Christine Johnson, CBS2 News.